Well, 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 breaking news. The Seahawks trade Frank Clark to the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, my reaction to this, I'm not entirely surprised. Uh, after the mega signing of Russell Wilson to his contract, um, it was pretty clear that it would be pretty tough to sign all three guys much as you want to make it happen there's always so much money to go around so you knew they weren't gonna let Bobby Wagner go so you figured the third one in this uh, cap casualty would probably be the um, Frank Clark what's up uh, flesh cannon thanks for watching Logan um, so here's here's the skinny on the deal so Frank Clark goes to the Chiefs contract is worth $105 million over five years, 63.5 million guaranteed. Basically just about the same uh, contract that uh, DeMarcus Lawrence got from the Cowboys. So he kind of set the market and he pretty much matched that most more, or less, give or take, more or less. In exchange, what do the Seahawks get? The Seahawks get the Kansas City Chiefs 29th pick, or sorry, yeah, 29th pick. So first round, they get a first rounder. Then they get a second round pick in 2020, and then they swap picks in the third round. I don't remember what numbers they are specifically in the third round, but they swap, so we drop down a little bit, switch spots. So what does this mean? What does this really mean in the big picture and with the draft two days away? Well, if there wasn't already pressure enough to make good on this draft, the pressure is... Uh, major high to be able to fill the hole now that Frank Clark has left. The positive side about it is that this is a draft that supposedly has a lot of good pass rushers in it and we should be able to find somebody who can come in and, and be an impact player. Uh, now the reality is we haven't exactly done a great job drafting uh, pass rushers um, nor really been blown away by our first round picks that we've, the few that we've had that we've actually used over the last few seasons. Uh, some of our best pass rushers came via trade or free agency, like, um, uh, we're talking about Bennett, Michael Bennett, and um, um, I just listened to him on the radio, to Um Frank Clark was one of those guys that we drafted and built up, so he was, you know, a player that Seattle took a chance on. And good for Frank Clark. I mean, that guy, if you recall, when he got drafted, um, came out with controversy because he had a domestic issue. A lot of teams didn't want to touch him for that. Seahawks gave him a chance uh, at many people's uh, hesitation. I mean, a lot of people didn't like the move, but they built him up. He proved himself to be a solid citizen throughout the whole career with the Seahawks. Never got in any trouble. He never heard about anything off the field. And the guy just continued to produce and had uh, 13 sacks last year and basically earned himself a mega million payday uh, for himself. So he is swimming in the dough. 63.5 mil guaranteed. Ain't Russell Wilson money, but for a pass rusher, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty valuable money right there. Pretty valuable position. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what we face here now, is that, that the Seahawks now, as far as uh, rushers, I mean, the only guy they got now who can rush the football who's on the, uh, on staff, proven, is Jaron Reed, uh, interior pass rusher. But we really don't have any outside pass rushers on staff, uh, at least not impact ones. We got Cassius Marsh in, the, in free agency not too long ago. But I wouldn't really factor him into that. He's a few years older, and even when he was um, here with us, was never quite that uh, guy. He never quite, you know, was that uh, on that elite level. He's a he's a dude, you know, he's a high motor guy. But uh, they're gonna have to get some some people. So that's kind of where we stand now. So it definitely makes the first round much more interesting to see what they do with these uh, two picks, 21 and 29. My guess is they're still going to trade down from at least one of those positions, but they could get very creative uh, with a team that maybe is really looking to get a player that might drop into a position. And if they see pass rushers that are filling in down the line in the first round, um, maybe they could turn that 21 into a couple more picks, um, maybe even in another first rounder if they can get sneaky with it um, and see what, uh, what might be floating out there. But they've got to hit on one of these guys. I mean, they got to get at least... Uh, 
one good pass rusher in it to fill, to at least get close to filling the void with um, uh, with what Frank Clark left. Yeah, Jacob Martin, somebody mentioned him um, as an option. He's, don't text me. I'm not, I'm not texting. I'm just talking. Um, so that is kind of the situation there. So I'm excited. This draft party uh, over at Earl's in Bellevue where I will be um, live streaming from so we can watch the draft simultaneously. Uh, it'll be fun to see now that Seattle's actually got two two uh, plays in the first round, see what they do with it. Um, now there's a better chance they might actually you know, get somebody instead of just trading their one sole pick away. But yep, that was it. Frank Clark gone. That's uh, unfortunate because he was one of those few remaining, uh, I can't really call him a veteran guy, but definitely one of the guys of, uh, you know, of the uh, core of the Seahawks, uh, no longer. Moving on to the Kansas City Chiefs, who are clearly prime, putting themselves in a position, they're going for it all. And I think Kansas City is definitely looking like one of the best teams in the AFC, if they can find a way to knock off the Patriots. Um, Pittsburgh, I think, is taking a step back. Uh, I don't know any other team that's really looking like they're in, a, in much of a position to challenge uh, unless you look at some of these new teams who are starting to come around the block, like, like the revamped Cleveland Browns or even the New York Jets, who are starting to support a very talented uh, roster. But right now, I would say Kansas City looks like the front runner to challenge the New England Patriots in the AFC. And Frank Clark, it might be that missing piece uh, to, that they hope will get them there. So... We'll see what happens. Two more days to go to the NFL Draft of 2019. It's going to be a blast. So I look forward to following along with you guys and seeing what happens uh, as it gets rolling. All right, Sam Dog watching. Uh, I'm sure you'll be posting about this yourself. Go check out Sam Dog's Sam Dog, the infamous 253. Check out his channel. Uh, but uh, for the rest of y'all, have a good rest of your day, and we will get back to you with any other breaking news stories. This is Norcam signing off. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we will talk to y'all later. Go Hawks.